Before we get this video started, I want to know how many hairs you think are in this bag of hair fall that I got from my last shower. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you do it? Alright, cool, let's move on. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Thomas, if you're brand new here, and I make style and hair related videos every single week here on YouTube. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking a little bit about hair fall, how much is normal, and I am literally going to be counting how much hair fall I got from my last shower. So if hair fall is something that you experience in the shower, which I'm absolutely sure you probably have at some point, and you wanna know how many hairs are in this bag, then I would keep watching, okay? But just before I kick this video off as well, I don't wanna like act like I'm some PhD doctor. Everything that I'm gonna be talking in this video about is just pretty much research that I've done online. I've been doing hair videos for a long time, so I'm definitely interested in the topic. Essentially, in my version of this, in layman's terms, hair fall is pretty much just shedding. Obviously, you've got hair loss, which is from a multiple different things that could happen inside your body but hair shedding or hair fall it's actually so normal like when you're washing your hair I'm sure you can relate to this when you're washing your hair hairs come out and we've probably all thought as well oh my god I'm going bald right I've done that a lot but the cool thing is I've found this uh, this blog right and I found it really really helpful and I kind of was wondering a how much hair fall is normal and b why the Frickin' hell does it happen, right? It says that each hair follicle undergoes a growth stage that lasts two to eight years, followed by a two month resting stage when no growth occurs. After that, the hair then falls out and a new one grows in its place. So what I get from this is pretty much the hairs that are coming out in the shower all over your fingertips are just the really old hairs that have reached the end of their cycle and it's time for them to go and it's time for new hair to come back. But then we wonder how much of it is normal? Well, I'm pretty sure you've heard from every other male hair guru on YouTube <laughs> that 100 hairs a day is apparently the right amount, right? And I've read that, I've seen that, I've seen it in so many different places, 100 hairs a day is roughly the amount that we're meant to lose. Well, I kind of wanted to bust that myth today. I wanted to see how much hair I actually lose because to tell you the truth, ever since I can remember, every time I've washed my hair, so much hair comes out. Like, look at this. I actually, when I first saw this bag, right, I actually thought there's way more than 100 hairs in there, and I'm actually, I'm gonna count them all today here in front of you to see what my natural is. And I've always lost this much hair when I have a shower, and I'm definitely not going bald. So I feel like doing this myth bust is very needed, and that's why I'm doing it today. The post that I actually found says 100 to 125 is quite normal, and it also said something else that was really interesting that. The, uh, the human head actually has about 100,000 hairs on it. And I actually thought that number was quite low because if you look at my hair, I feel like I've got 20 bazillion hairs on my head, which is probably why I get so much hair fall. I have no idea. Apparently there's natural remedies as well that stop you from having so much hair fall, but I guess we could make another series out of that. Let me know in the comment section below if that's something that you want, right? I actually also had another thought as well. I thought if this is one day of hair growth, what would a week look like? I strategically did this as well. Like I kind of, on Sunday, it's Sunday just gone, I washed my hair and I hadn't washed it for about five days yeah washed all the hair out obviously there was big clumps of it I didn't save that bundle but then I waited all of Monday because I thought okay well this is gonna be my 24-hour period where the hairs are falling out and then I thought on Tuesday I'll wash it again and I'll grab the remnants which is what you see right here so I'm just wondering how much like if I left it for a whole seven days and did a wash if this whole bag would be full that would be really interesting let me know as well if you want to see that because I'm more than keen to do it over a week so it must be pretty clear, a lot of people on this channel think my hair looks beautiful and I just wanted to take a minute to have a really close look at that. Yeah, stunning. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Oh my god, I wonder how long I'm gonna be here. Should we count that one? Oh my god, it actually looks like so much as well. I'm wondering if like, because my hair is so porous that it like expands and maybe looks a little bit bigger, but I guess we're just gonna have to find out. One. Yeah, look at them. Like, this one's not even like the length of my real hair. I don't get it. How is that one falling out? Some of these are definitely shorter than I thought, and I don't know whether I should be counting them as real hairs, but I will. I will anyway. 46. Okay, so here we are at 100 hairs exactly, which 
that still looks like a lot. Like, look at it. But then, we've also got all of this to go. So, it looks like, on average, my hair falls out a little bit more than usual. But, hey, I'm here to count the whole thing, and we're going to find out how many hairs are actually in this pile. <laughs> Five, seven. Oh! 158 freaking hairs! That's how many we've got in this bag. I'm actually not that worried about it, to be honest. When I looked at this bag to begin with, I thought for sure and certain there's going to be over 300 hairs in it. However, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I actually want to know how many hairs you thought were in that bag uh, at the beginning of this video, because when I looked at it, I was like, Ooh. I actually got a bit nervous while I was counting there. Um, so yeah, let me know about that in the comment section below. Um, in terms of doing this activity, it's actually really cool, because now I've kind of got a gauge that all of that information is actually quite correct. I would like to test this a little bit further and maybe do, you know, a hair washes over a week and count all of that hair fall, because by rights, if I count seven of this, I, I should have, if that's one day of hair fall, I should be able to count seven of it. I think that's like, what, is that like 1,100? <laughs> so we just did a calculation. It should be 1,106 hairs roughly that I would get over a week. So if you're keen to see that video, I'm keen to do it. Let me know if this brought you a bit of peace of mind as well. Like, go and test it out. Wash your hair, grab all the hair fall, just leave it for one day and see how much you get. If it's like really, really over the above at like the 300 mark, I would probably start worrying about that kind of number. But if not, like, yeah. 158, that's pretty average, and I'm happy with that. So, myth busted. I really hope you enjoyed this video today, guys. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, and press the subscribe button if you want more content like this, because I actually had a lot of fun counting hair. That's so weird, but I did. And, yeah, I want to know your thoughts, and I will see you next week for another video, okay? Catch you later. Bye.